This video is brought to you by MIDIWorks.ca, where we specialize in virtual pipe organ hardware. If you'd like to be updated about future tutorials, products, or announcements, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Today, we'll be going over how to configure Hopwork to work with an audio interface. You might be thinking, well, my computer already has audio, why would I want to use an audio interface? While computers can play audio, they're usually not of the best quality. For everyday use, they're perfectly fine. So if you want to use them for YouTube videos or listen to MP3s, that's okay. However, for hop work, you'll find that a lot of frequencies will be missing or lacking. That's where an audio interface comes in. It takes a digital signal of your computer and converts it to analog to be played through your speakers or headphones. That's its main purpose. So in terms of quality, it is almost always designed to be better than a computer's built-in audio. Now the price for an audio interface varies, depending on the quality of the conversion, as well as the number of inputs it has. Now I want to point out that in order to have quality sound, you'll need a good sound system as well as a good interface. Don't expect to have great sound with a $1000 interface paired with $50 speakers. It doesn't work like that. I suggest doing research to find a good sounding combination that fits your budget. Now let's continue with the tutorial. For this example, we will be setting up a very basic stereo system, meaning we'll only be using two outputs from our interface to connect to either a headphone or a pair of speakers. The audio interface we'll be using is the Live Player LP16. I've already gone and installed the required driver and I've connected it to the computer. As you can see, I have Hopwork up and running the St. Anne's Mosley sample set. To connect to our interface, click on General Settings and select Audio Outputs. A box will pop up. Under the Main tab, you'll see a drop-down list labeled Audio Output Device. By default, it should be set to your computer's audio. Let's click on the drop-down list and select our audio interface driver. It's titled Live Player LP16. Below that list, Hopwork is asking us to select which channels in our interface we would like the audio to play from. This is where you'll either set the channels to come out of speakers or headphones. If you're using speakers, you'll need to select the output channels that you've connected them to. Now I've connected my speakers to line out channels 1 and 2, so I'll be selecting those here. If you're listening through headphones connected to your interface, you'll need to select the headphone channels instead. For the LP16, the headphone channels are 17 and 18. It's important to make sure you select the correct channels at this step, or else you won't be able to hear anything after you've saved your changes. Now we're going to leave the channels connected to our headphones. Let's click OK to save. And you're done! Try playing a couple of notes to make sure everything's been connected properly and you can hear the sound. If you can't seem to find your interface driver on the drop-down list, I suggest reinstalling the driver again. Sometimes a bug might have happened during the installation and your computer can't recognize it properly. If you can't hear any audio, even with the correct driver selected, double check which channels are set. Again, if the channel settings are incorrect, you won't be able to hear anything. If you have an interface that uses an ASIO driver and for some reason playback is not working properly, Look up ASIO for All on your search engine and install it. ASIO for All is a universal ASIO driver and it can sometimes work better than the original one included with your interface. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know which tutorials you'd like us to cover on the comments below.